The Huawei Mate 80 series is scheduled to launch in Shenzhen in November 2025. Reports from Huawei's supply chain indicate that partners are running at full capacity to prepare components, and mass production across the lineup is expected to begin in October. This is not just a routine smartphone update. It's a declaration on the technological battlefield. The United States is trying to choke Huawei through rules and restrictions, while Huawei responds with two weapons, the Kirin 9030 and Harmony OS 6.0. The chip is the anchor for supply chain resilience and computing power, while the operating system is about ecosystem and standards. The choice of timing is symbolic. Huawei is moving from being pressured into passivity to actively setting benchmarks, and global technology power dynamics are beginning to take shape through one product. Let's talk timing. The supply chain signals are clear. Production ramps up in October, starting with the standard version to secure volume, followed by pro and higher-end models. If all goes well, the actual devices could appear as early as late October. Huawei's past launches show that steady pacing prevents big news, no stock embarrassments, while aggressive timing means striking directly at rivals' premium offerings during the holiday shopping season. Betting on Q4 allows Huawei to align supply with peak consumer demand, turning hype into real sales and device adoption. Where does Huawei's supply confidence come from? Since spring, it's been clear that Huawei has rapidly scaled up both Kirin chip production and device assembly lines. The Mate 70 Pro, the Pura X Foldable, Nova 14, Pura 80, and the second-generation triple-fold Mate XTs have all stayed largely in stock, with no long shortages in channels. This shows that bottlenecks are being replaced by backup lines, and scarcity is turning into stability. Building on this, the Mate 80 pushes further, using the standard model to hold the base with proven solutions, while higher-end models launch new architectures to ignite buzz. Supply and hype are no longer pulling against each other, but feeding into each other. The standard version takes a restrained approach, powered by the Kirin 9020S, based on a mature manufacturing process, paired with native Harmony OS 6.0, and focused on scalability, everyday usability, and reliability. This is not compromise, it's a large army strategy. Bring more users into the Harmony OS 6.0 ecosystem first, ensuring their first impression is stability and smoothness. Then let the Pro and Pro Plus models push performance and cutting-edge features to build brand prestige and higher price tiers. The real breakthrough comes from the Kirin 9030. It's not a miracle out of thin air, but a systematic victory within today's manufacturing limits. Higher levels of in-house control, deeper investment in communication technologies, and more aggressive energy efficiency tuning all prioritize one thing running steadily in all network environments. In the past, SOX were judged by process nodes and benchmark scores. Huawei has changed the race, treating connectivity as part of performance, then optimizing experience through packaging, architecture, and scheduling. The result, no dropped calls in weak networks, lower latency in strong ones, and consistent performance in metros, underground, dense buildings, and on-the-go transitions. These demanding real-life scenarios will become the stage where the Mate 80 Pro shows its strength. Why Huawei? Because communication is in its DNA. From base stations to optical transmission, core networks to standard setting, decades of engineering are embedded in every antenna. The Kirin 9030 integrates a next-generation modem, paired with advanced multi-band antenna design and system-level network strategies. This means the Mate 80 Pro maintains stronger links in complex environments. Add low Earth orbit satellite connectivity as a safety net, and users can still connect when no public networks are available. For outdoor professionals, emergency responders, or extreme travelers, that's safety. For everyday users, that's certainty. The second spear is Harmony OS 6.0. Its significance isn't about how the interface looks, but about accelerating the move away from Android. With a self developed runtime and modular system, the compatibility layer gradually fades out and apps begin to run natively on Harmony OS. The result is faster performance, better stability, lower power use, longer app survival in the background, and smoother animations. More importantly, ecosystem control starts to shift. Developers find the tools easier, the cross-device framework more convenient, and maintenance costs lower. Users see mainstream apps roll out natively, without relying on compatibility. Over time, feedback between developers and users snowballs into momentum. What does this mean for Android? Not immediate replacement, but attraction shifting. 
The truth of platform competition is simple. Whoever helps developers earn makes the user experience smoother and grows the ecosystem wins. As the flagship Harmony OS 6.0 device, the Mate 80 brings tens of millions of installs on launch, with synergy across tablets, wearables, cars, and PCs. Step by step, Android's hold on the Chinese market weakens. This isn't hit and run, it's an expanded front, operating systems, app distribution, cross-device collaboration, and near-field connectivity standards all moving together. The tectonic plates of the ecosystem are starting to shift. The hardware look and feel aligns with this narrative of power. The Mate 80 Pro features a 6.7-inch dual-layer OLED flat display with ultra-thin bezels and high screen-to-body ratio, reducing accidental touches while improving durability and clarity. The titanium frame balances strength with weight, comfortable to hold without sharp edges or heaviness. The back is made of microcrystalline ceramic, smooth, scratch-resistant, and premium to the eye and touch. Color options balance business tones with youthful highlights, while the camera module layout emphasizes order. When industrial design and materials are visibly advanced, consumers add reliable directly to the brand's value. The camera system continues Huawei's approach, hardware foundation, algorithmic blade. The top Mate 80 Pro Plus carries a 50 megapixel 1 slash 1.28 inch Lofic variable aperture sensor, boosting light intake and dynamic range. Low light is sharper, highlights controlled, and backlit shots more natural. Ultra-wide and periscope telephoto lenses see major upgrades, with cleaner night zooms and smoother portrait edges. Huawei's in-house ISP and software teams push improvements in skin tones, night cityscapes, and high-contrast street photography, producing images that are both flattering and realistic. For creators, it's productivity, shoot and post instantly. For casual users, it's certainty, every photo looks good. Security and interaction also see upgrades. Side-mounted ultrasonic fingerprint unlock is faster and more resistant to interference, even with wet fingers or in the rain. 3D face recognition combines with system-level privacy controls, making sensitive permissions visible and manageable. Business users and privacy-conscious consumers gain peace of mind. Harmony OS 6.0 redesigns the control center to be more intuitive, shortens device collaboration paths, and strengthens the system assistant with more on-device AI for voice, image, and document tasks, responsive even offline, saving time and power. Zooming out, this is part of a bigger contest. US sanctions aim to cap Huawei's potential by limiting supply chains. Huawei's counter strategy is turning vulnerabilities into good enough, usable, and scalable capabilities. The Kirin 9030 stabilizes connectivity, efficiency, and computing. Harmony OS 6.0 builds the ecosystem and standards on top. One ensures you can build and sell. The other ensures you can keep users and attract developers. Together, they avoid dependence on single-point breakthroughs and instead pursue certainty across the full chain. Of course, caution is necessary. Benchmarks, process nodes, and extreme communication metrics of the Kirin 9030 must wait for the official launch and third-party tests. Supply performance depends on real market rollout. The Mate 80 should be seen as an engineering turning point, making the unavailable available, making the available smooth, and making the smooth scalable. As supply chain risks are offset by product strength, and ecosystem momentum is lifted by both developers and users, the balance of global technology power shifts with each seemingly ordinary commercial launch. So the Mate 80 is not just a spec sheet, but a roadmap. The standard model drives volume with proven solutions. The Pro and Pro Plus establish quality with the Kirin 9030 and Harmony OS 6.0. Connectivity pushes certainty to the extreme. The system delivers consistent experience. The camera hands back the right to record to ordinary users and design restores the dignity of touch. This is Huawei's direct counter to US sanctions and its structural challenge to the Android ecosystem. Supply chain resilience on one side, operating system control on the other.